Is America as advanced as it seems? The United States is a country of innovation. It's the birthplace of everything from Hollywood to Silicon Valley and has produced some of the most important cultural icons you've ever heard of, like Elvis Presley and Henry Ford. But are these achievements really as impressive as we'd like them to be? Section, what caused this American miracle in the first place? Section, are there any signs that America might be losing its edge? Takeaway, we've come far, but are we as innovative as we think? Are we as advanced as we think we are? The United States is one of the richest countries in the world. It has made great strides in many areas, but when it comes to topics that matter to me, such as education and healthcare access, America's record is far from perfect. In fact, if you look closely at our schools and hospitals, you'll find that there are many problems with our system. Some students can't afford uniforms, Others don't have enough textbooks or computers to use at school, many teachers lack training on how best teach certain subjects, while many hospitals have outdated equipment that fails patients during surgery or birth procedures, a problem known as defibrillator blues. Of course, the United States has made great strides in many areas, but when it comes to topics that matter to me, such as education and healthcare access, America's record is far from perfect. Of course, the United States has made great strides in many areas. It's the best country for feeding its people and keeping them healthy, it's also one of the most advanced countries when it comes to technology and innovation. The U.S. government is good at providing access to education, and this is especially true for poor children who often don't have access to quality schools or teachers because they live in poverty-stricken areas where resources are limited or non-existent. This can be seen through the fact that we rank extremely high on things like math proficiency tests, we score above average, but only slightly below average when it comes to science literacy tests, which measure how well people understand basic concepts. I grew up in a world where people were hungry and sick a lot more often than they are now, so it's hard for me to accept that the US government is the best at feeding its people and keeping them healthy. I grew up in a world where people were hungry and sick a lot more often than they are now, so it's hard for me to accept that the US government is the best at feeding its people and keeping them healthy. The United States has a lot of money because it's rich, a fact that makes some Americans uncomfortable with this idea of being wealthy. But if you're not rich, then your country might not be able to provide as many services for its citizens as other countries do, like Canada so maybe you should be grateful for what America has accomplished. But even if America weren't one of the richest countries in the world the richest country in the world, mind you it would be pretty amazing if our government could provide food to all its citizens and free health care to all its citizens. But even if America weren't one of the richest countries in the world the richest country in the world, Mind you it would be pretty amazing if our government could provide food to all its citizens and free health care to all its citizens. The United States has a good economy, with a stock market that's close to 50 times bigger than Japan or Germany. We also have good health care, there are no medical bills for anything you need because you're part of an insurance plan, and if you don't have one, then help is just a phone call away. You can go to school without worrying about getting sick from being around other people who aren't vaccinated or healthy enough themselves, unlike some other countries I could name. And yes, even though there may not be many jobs available at any given time right now due to technology advances, like artificial intelligence, we still have plenty of jobs available thanks mostly because people need money too much nowadays. The United States needs to continue improving its education system, healthcare system and economy overall. The United States must continue improving its education system, healthcare system and economy overall. The U.S. is the richest country in the world but it has a long way to go before becoming truly advanced. The United States needs to do more than just educate its citizens, it also needs to make sure they are healthy enough so that they can enjoy their lives and contribute positively toward society as well as its economy, which will help boost its overall quality. Conclusion
I'm sure there are many other countries that have made greater strides in these areas than we have. But it's not just about having the best healthcare or economy it's also about being able to reach those who need help and make sure they have access to it. America needs to keep working hard on these issues so that we can be the greatest country in the world, but also a kinder nation overall.